All right, so in our previous videos, we've set up the sign up and login settings. We've also learned how to add custom fields or sign up for. Now in this video, we'll see how we could enable sign up and log in with Google. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the Google Cloud Console. I will leave a link in the description below. So once you're in your uh, Google Cloud dashboard, go to select a project. Keep in mind this dashboard, Google is known for doing uh, UI changes always. So even if the dashboard is not the same, I think you still be able to follow along. So just find the select project button, add a new project, ignore this. This is an old project. I will call it Outseta Starter. Okay. And click create. It should take about a minute to create your project. Now that it's done, click select project from here or simply select it from here. Okay. Next, you need to go to API and services. You could go from the quick access or you could go API and services from here. Now go to credentials and click create credentials. We need to create an OAuth client ID, but in the first step, it will ask us to configure the consent screen. So we need to do this two times. Let's click it the first time. Now it's asking us to configure the consent screen, which is the screen that your users will see when signing up, signing up with Google. Click configure. Now. Uh, the user type will be external since this is not uh, private. This is our consent screen. This is what our users will see. So let's add our app name. I'll call it Outseta Starter. User support email. Select your email. You could add a logo which will show up in here. Uh, now for your app domain. It's the domain you have from Google, uh, sorry, the domain you have from Framer. So in my case, it's, it means your homepage in Framer. So in my case, it's um, outseta-starter.framer.website. Okay. Now copy this, add it in here. So in here you need to add your privacy policy page link and your terms and condition. Make sure these are valid because Google is probably gonna check these. So make sure you have two pages on your Framer website, then you could link them in here. For now, I'll say privacy and in here terms, okay? Now for your authorized domain, this is your Framer homepage domain without the HTTPS. So you could copy it from here, add domain, and this is our domain. For the developer contact information, add your email. You could add your developer email. I'm gonna add admin at inframer.com. Okay. Save and continue. You could leave the scopes for now. So I'll click save and continue. Again, we don't wanna add test users since this app will be public. Now see the summary and click back to dashboard. We need to publish our app in order for it not to be a test app. Click publish and click confirm. So in our case, verification is not required. So our app has been published. Next thing we need to do is once again, go to credentials, create credentials. And now we could create our OAuth ID since we've already configured our uh, consent screen. So click OAuth client ID. Application type web application, since it's a website. This is an internal name, but call it something undescriptive. I'll set a dash starter. Now for the authorized JavaScript origins, these will be your first, your uh, homepage link, like your website URL from Framer. In my case, it's outset dash uh, starter 
www.framer.website and one more thing uh, it's a good idea to add your outset user URL so what is this if you go to outset you see mine is in framer.com.outset.com so this is my username followed by outset.com this is useful for testing purposes so https a slash slash in framer com dot outset dot com okay now don't worry about the redirect url since outset will take care of this for us okay so let's see what issue do we have invalid origin my must end with public top level domain okay so that website Dot com for example okay for some reason google is not recognizing that website even though it's a valid domain so in this case let's go to framer okay let's change our custom domain uh, sorry let's go to our domain i'm gonna try to change it okay to let's see if it's gonna recognize that ai so I'm gonna say outseta dot sorry outseta dot starter dot framer dot AI. Let's see if in this case it's gonna recognize it. Okay. So go back to outseta. Let uh, sorry go back to Google Console and let's see. So yeah, dot AI it recognizes it but it doesn't with that website for some reason, even though it's perfectly valid. So let's click create. And that's it. Now we've got our OAuth client ID. So this is the ID we need. Click copy, click OK, go back to Outseta. And again, from Auth, sign up and login. At the end of our page, we could paste our OAuth client ID and click save. And that's it. We've now set up Google login and sign up without setup. Now I need to see one thing since I changed the domain to, since I changed the domain to .ai, I might need to change a few things I've set up previously. So maybe my consent screen needs a bit of changes. Let's see, edit app. Okay, so in my case, I'm going back here and just changing my domain to .ai, okay? Unfortunately, this is an issue from Google, so. Save and continue. And again, save and continue, save and continue. So I don't want to edit this part because you might encounter this issue. So let's keep it in here. If you encounter an issue, hopefully Google will will fix this. I will try to contact them and bring this issue to their attention. But yeah, I'll keep this part of the video. So if you encounter an issue with the .website domain, try another domain. All right. Mm -hmm.